May we have your attention for the graveside ceremony, Pastor McCullen, Pastor Dobbins. Uh -huh. We say good morning to everybody. Good morning. good morning. Thank God for this lovely sunny day. Yes. yes. Amen. I, I, I told yeah. Ray, I said, I'm going to pray that the Lord would hold the rain. Yes. <laughs> Tell me what he won't do. Yes. We gather today to uh, celebrate, and I do mean celebrate, this home going of our dear sister, our friend, mother, whatever she was to you. We come to celebrate today. Now, I know there's crying, but I it, I need them to be tears of joy. Yes. Because she lived a long, prosperous life. And you too, one day, is going to have to leave this place. Yes. So, let's celebrate and remember the good times that Sister Margaret Dale Mitchell, not Mitchell Williams, <laughs> has, has blessed us with. Uh, the program says a loving celebration, a loving celebration. Of Margaret Dale Williams, born April the 7, 1935, deceased on July 26, 2020. In the program, everyone has one. We will just read the order of celebration, the scripture uh, by Pastor Belinda Dobbins. Pass a new director of Baptist yeah. Church, and our prayer will be by my dad, uh, Dr. James Nathaniel McCullum, uh, music selection, Lynn Somerville, family remarks, and the eulogy. Eulogy, yours truly, and then we'll have the recession. We'll follow the program as stated. Scripture be coming from John the 14th chapter, starting at the first verse. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. And whether I go, ye know, in the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? I read John the 14th chapter, verse 1 through 6. May God have a blessing for the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. I'm here today with you because I know you, and I simply go around to all of you, so we thank God for you. If you would allow me, just before I pray, say something about Margaret Ed. She was born April of 77. I was born April the 16th. Oh, okay. Same year. <laughs> we were friends in school. And to tell you the truth, she was the best looking one in that school. <laughs> <laughs> she had the most fabulous walk. <laughs> that was Margaret. I could go on and on and on because we were we were not classmates, we were schoolmates. Same age, but she was smarter than I was. <laughs> so we had a great time in school. Now as we come, our Father in Heaven, as we come at this time to bid farewell to one of our loved ones, our sister, mother, cousins and aunts, and et cetera. So we just thank you for this opportunity to be here today. We thank you for this life that has been spent before us. We thank you for saving her soul. Thank you, Lord. We thank, thank you for you. making her whole. We just thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank for the thing. Yes. The thing that yes. you've done. Yes. The thing that you do is not for you, it's for us. Yes. So we just thank you so thank much. You. Open our eyes that yes. we might Lord. see. Yes, Lord. What you would have us to do. Yes. We thank you for this life that yes. has walked before us, yes, talked before us, yes, and, and set examples before thank us. You. We thank you. Yes. Thank we you. understand the truth. Yes. She did as you had commanded. Yes, so we thank you. Thank you. Thank you yes, for thank your greatness. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you for your power. Thank yes, you. Lord, thank you. 
So Lord, as we come to the end yes. of marching with Sister Margaret yes. Williams, yes. we just reach out to Thee. Yes. You give us the strength to continue yes. on yes. and to continue to praise Your yes. holy name. Yes. Thank you for the year. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You've been good to Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, man. Yes, Lord. Thank you. We pray this power. My son, Jesus' yes, name. Jesus. And our hearts say yes, together. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 In times like these, you need a savior. In times like these, you need an anchor. Be very sure. Very sure your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus. Yes, He's the one. This rock is Jesus. He's the only one. Be very sure. I want y'all to be very sure that your anchor holds and grips. The solid, the solid rock in times like these, you need the Bible. Yes, yes, yes. In times like these, hope we not idle. Be very sure, be very sure, your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. I want y'all to know that this rock is Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Jesus. Yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus. He's the only one. I want y'all to be very, very sure. Be very sure. That your anchor holds and grips the solid, the solid rock. This time is asking for family remarks. I don't know if the family had someone to speak. Someone to speak. Uh, 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 all the nephews. You know, being raised by my grandmother in Fort Hunt, you know, it's hard to have an example of what a man should be. And 
I remember growing up, it seemed like grandma was taking things that would cut you through your coat. But it wasn't never meant to insult you or put you down. You know, it, it, it ain't easy in this world. And, and without her, I, I would not have the tough skin that I have today. I would not be able to go through anything, all the things that I go through and still be able to push. She was the foundation, she was the rock. No matter what, she was there. She never let us down no matter what. You know, she was, that's grandma, that's mama. That's, that's everything. You know, she'll be missed. And that's all I, I just, that's all I say. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, this is the day. You know, let's just be thankful. Yes. A lot of things in life are not guaranteed. She's guaranteed a long while. <laughs> I'm goofy. I love to laugh a lot and joke a lot. So I'm gonna just tell a story of my cousin so we remember. It seems like every grandmother has a wash rag. Mm -hmm. Man, back when she was able to drive and she had that Buick, yeah. she always wanted to go up to the, to the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know she can't drive. Uh, I ride in the front. No, I ride in the front. Yeah, so yeah, we, <laughs> She driving to the grocery store and all of a sudden that wash rag appeared. I thought it was in the bathroom. And we get tossing it around, tossing it around the car. And that sucker hit somebody in the face. Oh, don't get with the wash rag. Put that wash rag down, y'all quit playing. And you know, my favorite word was the S word. Put that wash rag down, shit. <laughs> but man, I can remember all the times us piling up in the house, Christmas Thanksgiving, man. Presents under the Christmas tree. We all step on the floor in the living room. All the answers go to sleep. We be up. <laughs> Not all of them to sleep. Some of them, <laughs> some of them whooping the <laughs> making noise and stuff like that. And then I, my mom, Tanya, which is a disciplinarian of the family. Y'all sit up all that noise in there. I'm gonna come in there. We'll bury that one out. We quiet down for maybe two minutes. Make <laughs> That day she gave my mama a walk. Yeah, I went there with that house too. Long story. Long story. We don't want to talk about that one. We don't need him. But those were the good times, you know. Those those were the times where us as a family, we were all young, and so we weren't old enough to travel off on our own and venture off on our own and start our own lives. So that bonding time was where the bulk of the memories for me, you know, I always keep that. I miss that, you know, I don't, you know, we don't have the family that we got. Other side of the family, you know, that's, that's fine, but our core is here. So, baby, y'all, in life, as we move forward, Granted, gone. And you know that absent here in reality is present with the man that owns it. I can accept that. But for us and everybody here, let's just try to be kind. We all different. We all have different trains of thought. We all have different faults. We all have different strengths and weaknesses. Let's just embrace each other. Remember all the arguments and barriers that you come across in life. You got past. God healed you. You can look back and say, I got past. Same thing is in the future. When things come up, I'll just hold on. Grandma was good to I can't, I can't remember the bad thing about you. Calm. 
Cool. You sit down on the porch all day. I'd <laughs> <laughs> be bored, you know. <laughs> but she sit there just as peaceful. And for her, that was joy. Yeah. For us, that was my car. Yeah. <laughs> so let's find joy in life. Happiness and joy. I was telling my wife are two different things. Happiness sustains you for a time period. Joy lasts forever. Yeah. And so in life, baby, y'all, let's just try to find joy and enjoy life. A lot of crazy stuff going on, and God is in control. So we just hold on to that and love each other. We'll be, we'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Glad she don't have to suffer. Glad she's going on to be in peace. And I wish she could call uh, call me back and say, "What well, the streets are paved with gold, <laughs> you know, and everything's up here is unlimited." For you. I know when I get there, it's unlimited fishing <laughs> and, and stuff like that. Over there. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that she has everything unlimited now mm -hmm. at her access. Yeah. And she's free to enjoy. And we'll just hold on and hold her memory and keep it alive. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, you will. Thanks, John. I have. It's with the heavy heart, but I just want to admonish all of y'all to let this be a pause, and a pause in your life where you start to live with purpose. Let this be a moment. It, it's sorrow, but let this be a moment in our life where we pause and reset, yeah. and live with purpose, with God's purpose for our life. God's purpose for our life is perfect. And if we just catch hold to Him and just live with the purpose of, of serving Jesus and following His path for our life, because God's path is perfect. He knows the plans that He has for us. So let this be a pause at the moment in our life where we just reset and start living with purpose, start living with intent, start following God and let God lead our way and your pathways is going to be plain. You're going to have the strength and the joy and the peace that you need to sustain this life because this life is so uncertain. So that that's that's all I have to say. Just just live with intent and live with purpose, and let this be a pause in our life where we just reset. I'm just gonna say, Mama loved us in her own special way. You know, she wasn't that affectionate, huggy kind of person, but she loved us and we knew that. She loved her grandkids even more. And she loved her great grandkids even more than that. Her, her baby doll, her Everly, her Peaches, <laughs> Silas and Evie, and. and uh, Josie and Uh huh. And Lauren, she loved them more than us, because she'd have to raise them. <laughs> but she loved us, and we knew that it was it was tough love a lot of times. And she spoke in parables a lot of times. It wasn't. You know. <laughs> she didn't always come out to say exactly what she meant. But she would tell us it was uh, <laughs> it was earth, earthly parables, but we knew what she meant. <laughs> you know. She could be, you know, she was pretty rough, but she only wanted the best for us, and that was it. And she, well, I mean, it wasn't maybe always said the, the way we would think it would be, but she just wanted the best for us. Right. And she loved us, so we got to stay together and love each other, because we have a relatively small family, so we just have to stay together and, and keep that, stay in the bonds of love and unity. I just wanted to um, read this because I've had this for years. So I wanted to go ahead and read it now. When I come to the end of the road and the sun has set for me, I want no rights in this gloom filled room where I cry as so set free. Miss me a little, but not too long. And not with your head hung low. Remember.
the love that we once shared. Miss me, but let me go. For this journey is one we must all take. And each must go alone. It's all a part of the master's plan. A step on the road home. When we are lonely and sick at heart, turn to the God we know and bear your sorrows in doing good deeds. Miss me, but let me go. I remember I was I was laying in the bed with my mom and I just started crying and crying and crying and crying because I felt like I wasn't pretty enough. And I remember Granny walked by the room. She walked by the room. She said, "What you crying for?" And she was just like, "They just hate. They don't like themselves." And she just told me how pretty I was and stuff like that. She was just it was just it was different. And I remember back when Laura was in high school. I had to have been probably like five or six. And me and Zach, we were playing school. And I remember Lauren gave me a whole bunch of math problems I did not know. <laughs> Lauren went to go take a shower. I ran to Granny. I said, Granny, can you answer this real quick? <laughs> 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 and Granny answered all of it. And I won the little school game we were playing. <laughs> and it's just it's just the little stuff. Like I re it's like kid you think kids don't remember because I'm the youngest grandchild you think kids don't remember but they do I remember I was a little bit older than Gabby I remember <laughs> I was running from granny she snatched me up she changed my diaper real quick and made me go to sleep <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's, it's, it's just the little stuff and I remember I'm never gonna forget this <laughs> it was probably about two months ago <laughs> granny was in the bed and I walked by I was like talking herself and I just listened and I sat there she was praying right. and she was calling she called she called all her kids by her name their names and all their grand all her grandkids by their names and she said a prayer for each and every last one of us by name and I never forget that we may have thought you know she may have forgot our names and stuff like that but she called us all by name and that's just the last <laughs> That's just something I'm never gonna forget. kids to meet her and she became like a grandmother to my kids. I even brought my co-workers to meet this lady because this is how special she is. But I want y'all to know that y'all mother and grandmother had a special place in my heart and my family heart. Even my mom, I told my mom she took it real hard. But my mom been in that house and this lady was real, real special. I can call her any day, any night, and she would listen, and she would tell you her opinion, and she would give you good advice. Because I consider her as a very, very special lady from the time I met her. And I always treated her with utmost respect. So I know y'all pain, y'all, you know, sorrow, but y'all have my family prayers, jealousy. Like her like grandson said, she's in a better place. She's in a better place. You know, she's having fun like look at me. She's having fun. I bet you. You know, but I just I just had to say something about this special lady. 
because she was very, very special to me. Very. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. But like I said, bro, all my kids, my co-workers, everybody that met this lady, they, they come back, hey man, how that lady doing down there? You know? I, I hadn't talked to her in a while. And that's that remind me to give her a call, you know. But I just want to say that. That she's very special and, and she will be missed. And I, I understand how y'all feel about it. I listened to Lauren's story. I mean, listen to her. You know, but y'all had a very, very good mother and grandmother, and I want y'all to know that. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I just can't say any more about this lady, right? Because she's, she's great. She was special. Just because of her, I believe I can fix anything in the world. I've been climbing under sinks since I was barely tall enough to get in it. Yeah, Under car hoods and whatever, she just wants you to go fix it. I mean, it was just, it was. I think all her grandkids remember taking her cane and drawing on the ceiling and stuff. Yeah, we take cane. All her kids remember getting people with a cane. Hey, um, everybody, y'all pretty. Um, I'm the oldest man in the house. Uh, Everybody's baby. <laughs> <laughs> Nudie. I'm like, girl, I'm an Freddie, 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 it's going to say. But um, my grandma was at peace. And um, I love my grandma. I only have one. And I saw my grandma on Wednesday. I talked to her on Wednesday. And uh, she answered the phone. Um, um, I said, "Hi, hey, Grandma," and she wouldn't even look at me. She was like, "Crazy." I was like, "Yeah." She was like, "What you doing?" I was like, "Nothing." So when you coming down here? I was like, "Grandma, I'm here. I'm, I'm coming down on Thursday." Talking about, all right. I don't know if Grandma knew what she was doing. She opened up the blinds when the time was right, and the sun is now shining in. And she always said, "It's a cool breeze," and as you can see, it's a cool breeze right now. Grandma said, let's just, uh, let's, we're gonna, let's just let's open the window up, turn the fan, I will need no fan today. Grandma's here. <laughs> yeah. And I love my grandma, and we all don't listen. Yeah. Um, Grandma, you're going to have to come back to the house. There'll be no one else. It's, I see all y'all fanning. We're going to go ahead and do it. <laughs> The eulogy and uh, we'll get on out of here. Uh, and she already checked out of here. Uh, she yeah. already gone. The way out. <laughs> 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 we want to be respectful to the family. Do what the Lord has placed upon our hearts. <laughs> Now, Ms. Ms. Margadell was near and dear to me as well, and y'all already did my eulogy, so that don't leave much for me to do. Uh, I went to school with four of them, <laughs> well, we was all in, in school at the same time. Tanya, I did not never get to meet. Uh, I heard a lot about her. <laughs> It was good. Thank you. And, uh, I didn't know you was a uh, whooping machine. <laughs> the things you learn at funerals. All right. It might be good that I didn't, didn't meet you. <laughs> uh, myself and Ray were classmates. And, uh, I be watching y'all on Facebook. I hadn't been on there long. Uh, been on there since March, and I've been seeing Tweety's uh, lakes and hot cooking. <laughs> selfies. Yeah, selfies and how the morning is and how the sky is. I said, do she go to work? <laughs> <laughs> That's my other love. <laughs> Thank you. I I, I truly, uh, I'm going to miss her, and as her red Kenya, your son, stated, I used to when I'm in Melvin, I used to just come through this way, just so I could blow yeah. <laughs> at, at her sitting on the porch. I could always count on her 
sitting on that porch, especially in the evening, mm -hmm. right before the sun goes down. She'd be sitting out there. And, and matter of fact, when I came in today, I drove by the cemetery, mm -hmm. went up and turned around, <laughs> just so I could blow one more time. Mm -hmm. And I just appreciate her so, so very much. Yes. I remember when, when she was going through her cancer, and me and Ray was talking about it yesterday, and I would come down on Sundays to uh, Rockport and Ray would be done call and say, hey, could you, can, can you do me a favor and just, just pick up Mama and bring her back to Little Rock, which and I'll meet you, you know, in my mail or somewhere. I said, girl, you ain't said nothing but a thing. <laughs> but it was one time, no, I ain't going to tell that story. <laughs> <laughs> That's between me and her. <laughs> Some things they say you got to take it to your grave. <laughs> take that with you. Take that with you. She showed out that day. Have mercy. Only a man. Only a man. Have mercy. Real quickly, uh, Tweety, you helped me. I, I was looking at your post. And I was wondering, what should I say about this young lady? And that post where you posted 2 Corinthians 5 and 1. And I, I, it, it just wouldn't leave me. So here we go. In the New Living Translation it says, For we know that when this earthly tent we live in is taken down, that is, when we die and leave this earthly body, we will have a house in heaven an eternal body made for us by God himself and not by human hands. Amen. 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 Just, just for your remembrance, I, I need you to remember this. Mama's gone, grandma's gone, auntie, whatever she was, friend, loved one. Just remember this, that death is not a curse. Mm. but a blessing yes. All right. All right. it's not a curse but a blessing and, and before we leave here you're going to understand what I'm saying here we are living in this society with uh, this COVID-19 mm -hmm. coronavirus here we are living in this world especially in the United States of America where we have police brutality mm -hmm. here we are and I, I'm not trying to offend nobody. Living in these United States of America with a leader mm -hmm. who is not a leader. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take that how you want. Mm -hmm. But in this text that we're talking about, in 2 Corinthians 5 and 1, it talks about a tent. Mm -hmm. And in order for a tent to be taken down, it first has to be put up. All right. All right. And in April of 1935, April the 7th, 1935, Margadell's tent was put up. Yeah. But on just this past Sunday morning, uh -huh. the death angel came All right, preacher. and took it down. Yeah. All right. All right. Let me see if I can break it down. A, a tent is never thought of as a permanent home. Some of you young people don't know nothing about a tent. Y'all don't go camping. Y'all don't camp out in the backyard. Y'all don't go out in the woods. But a tent, it, it, it may be pitched at a lake or in the woods for just a specific time. You're not going to stay at the lake always. But then they are folded up and they move on. The Word of God teaches us that one day, your spirit will depart from your body yes. and your body will return to the dust yes. Yes. because yes. the word of God says from the dust you came yes. and to the dust you yes. will return yes. 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 and when the body say the body, the body whether through age an accident coronavirus cancer or police brutality with somebody's knee on your neck through, mm. whether it's by a bullet or just natural causes we all got to die. Yes. 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 But when that day comes, uh -huh. when your day comes, all right, God in his loving 
wisdom will release your spirit yes. from your body to return to its creator. Mm -hmm. I'm about done, Ray. Go ahead, preacher. But at this point, at this point, when he does that, mm -hmm. if you are a child of God, come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. death mm -hmm. is not a curse, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but a blessing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop, rewind, mm -hmm. and play. Come on, if you are, if, yeah. 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 There you go. if, and I hope everybody here is a child of God, yeah. right. but if you are a child of God, yeah. Yeah. Death is a blessing, yes, yes. not a curse. All right. Pastor Rod, how, how is death a blessing? I'm going to help you. Yep. Because death is just a limo driver. Oh, mm. hey, or, or young people, an oh, Uber oh. driver. Mm. <laughs> that takes you to your final destination. Oh, oh. Listen when I tell you what the Word of God says. It says, and, and, and he said it earlier, uh, to be absent from the body yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is yes, sir. to be present with the Lord. With the Lord. With the Lord. Isn't that yeah. good news? That's good news. That's good news. That's good news. That's good news. Good news. If, if you are a child of God. Yes. 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 And I, I wouldn't dare leave this place today letting someone leave that don't know Him uh -huh. as their Lord and Savior. Uh -huh. Because it's only two places when you come here. It's two places that you can go. That's right. But you determine that. That's right. That's right. That's right. As, as they used to say back in, in, in the day on this commercial, they, they had a football commercial with the referees, and they would throw a flag, and they said, you make the call. Right. Yeah. 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 Hold on to that. You yeah. make the call. You right. determine whether you go to heaven mm. or to hell. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. And you're going to spend eternity in one of those places. Yes. Yes, no in-between. Mm -mm. It's either heaven or hell. Or hell. That's right. Yeah. Where will you spend eternity? That's if right. you were to die right now, oh, yes, do you know yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. where you would spend yes. eternity? Yes, now, if you don't know and you, you haven't accepted him as Lord and Savior, then death can be a curse. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Because I don't, I don't want to wish that on nobody to burn forever. Mm -hmm. But I do want everybody All right. to spend eternity in heaven with our Lord and Savior. Yes, yes, I'm yes. going to close with this. I told you that death is not a curse but a blessing. Blessing. Death is a blessing Yes. to Christians. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pastor Rod, how you know that? I, I, I'm glad you asked. I got it right here. So Y'all won't think I'm lying. It's in the Bible. It's in the Word. Read it for yourself. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 55. Well, let's just back on up another verse. Verse 53 says, For this corruptible, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. that's your body, uh -huh. must put on incorruption, come on, come on. and this mortal must put on immortality. Yes. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, mm -hmm. then, then shall be then. brought to pass the saying that is written, Here's the shout right here. Right, Death preacher. is swallowed up in victory. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. That means it's been defeated. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Death. oh, Death. Where is thy sting? Oh, grave. Yes. Where is thy victory? Yes. The sting of death is sin. Yes. And the strength of sin is the law. Mm -hmm. I'm gone when I tell you. But thanks be to God. Yeah. 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 Say that with me. But thanks, thanks be yeah. to God. Yes. Which giveth us. Yes. And I, I went I went to a little seminary Come and on. I discovered when it Come ends on. in ETH, yeah. that means over and, and over, over and over. over. Yeah. So it says, <laughs> thanks be to God who giveth yeah. continuously yeah. That's what it says. Yeah, 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 yeah. us the victory uh -huh. through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah. You know through life. She's had her ups and downs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's had her ins and outs. Yeah. All right. She had good days. She yes. had bad days. Oh, yes. But I guarantee you, I almost said it like Goma Powell, I guarantee you <laughs> that her good days yeah, well, outweighed yeah. her bad days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah. going when I tell you that somebody, you, 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 you need to appreciate Come the mountaintops. Come on, preacher. Right. And you need to appreciate the valley. Yeah. 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 Pastor yeah. Rod, what yeah. are you talking about? You know, she was a nurse. Yeah. In the hospital, that yeah. machine goes up. Pin down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So goes life. Yes. Up 
and down. Right. Yeah, yeah. Up and down. Yeah. You ought to appreciate it because yeah. it's going up, up and down. And down. Because when it goes straight. That means death got you. Yeah. Right. But I got the clothes. I, I tried not Come to. Come on, preacher. But I got the clothes when I tell you. Uh-huh. Death helped us. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah, Jesus. Jesus. Come on. Yeah. Christ our Savior. Yeah, yeah. He died. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't he die? Yes, yeah. he did. He stayed yeah. in the grave yeah. for three long yes, days. Yes. Yes. But early Sunday morning. Early. 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 Yes. Yes. That's why I'm happy when I tell you death is not a curse. No, no. But it's a blessing because he got up with all power yes, 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 yes. in his hand. Yes. I wasn't going to say it, but ain't he all right? Yes, he is. I know this is a funeral, but we can get happy at a funeral. Ain't he all right? Won't he do it? I'm thinking about how he kept the rain back. Won't he do it? I'm done. Come on. Come on. I just might holler if you don't Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. On behalf right. of the staff and management at Samuel L. Vance and Sons Funeral Directors, it brings our heart great joy to be thought of at a time like this. It has been our prayer that we have provided you all with a very comforting, professional, and a dignified service, and we have lived up to our motto, all right. the epitome of service. Yeah. And again, thank you from the staff and management at Samuel L. Vance and Sons. <laughs> Whatever you do, family, and friends and loved ones, just remember that death is not a curse. Oh. Mm. No but it's sense. a blessing to those that are in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. I didn't say those that know him. I say those that are in him. Yes. Yes. Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Everybody say they know him, don't you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they're not in Christ Jesus. But mm -hmm. it is a blessing. Mm -hmm. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God yes. to take out of this world our dear, beloved sisters, Margaret Dale Williams. We therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for that blessed hope when the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort ye one another with these words. And as we say goodbye to her today, I do listen to Power 92. <clears throat> My class may be on there. And, and Broadway Joe has something that has stuck with me. When he says, family is all we got. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm telling you today. That's what she would want you to know. All right. Stick together. Because at the end of the day, family, even though we can't get along sometimes, <laughs> we grumble, we fight. But at the end of fighting and grumbling, family is all we got. All right. Eternal God, our Father, we, as we come to the end of this celebration, I was saying not goodbye, but see you later. 
to our de beloved dear sister. God, we place her in your hands. We understand and we believe that to be absent from the body is to be present with you. So God, I pray is now that you would wrap your big old loving arms around this family. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Keep them in your care. Yes, Lord. Wipe their tears away. Yes. Dry their weeping eyes. God, even in the midnight hour when they the pillows are wet with tears, rock them in the cradle of your love. God, when the phone calls stop, when the doorbells stop ringing, yes. that would only be you in the midst with them. Whisper in their ear that your word says that you would never leave us nor forsake us. Yes, right. yes, we thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Now, God, we say, may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rest, rule, and abide with us henceforth now and forevermore. Let all the saints of God say together, Amen. Amen.